for the cinema. Um, if it's wet tomorrow, you could have, I'll go to cinema. It could be, we will go to the cinema. It could be, I might go to the cinema. Okay, remember, I could go to the cinema. Remember, you can have modal verbs in there as well. Okay, number two, what do we think for number two? I could see an answer there from Mass. It's, it's, unless it's a nice day, does that sound right? What do you think for number two? What do you think? Okay, yeah, it's the right answer. Unless it is a nice day or it's a nice day, I'll stay at home. Remember, unless is the if clause, so we've got the present tense in there. Brilliant. Number three, if it's too windy, we something go sailing. What do you think for number three? Alberto, I see the answer for. Alberto is saying, won't. If it's too windy, we won't go sailing. Um, Stanislav is also saying, won't for number three. Um, um, okay, yes. Remember, if we use two, we're saying it's a problem. So if it's too windy, we won't go sailing. We're saying it's a problem. If we said it's very windy, maybe I, I know nothing about sailing. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it isn't. I don't know. But if it's too windy, we won't go sailing. Okay. Let's see. Can you think of any things to put with? Um, sorry, I've got the wrong slide. These endings. Could you make sentences with these um, with these endings using the first conditional? So talk about the future, maybe the weekend. If I get paid, if I'm not too tired, if my family come to visit, if I finish work on time, if the kids get bored, what could you say? Put it into the uh, comments. What plans do you have? So I could say, for example, if I get paid, I'll go to that new restaurant in town. Okay, if I've got the money, it'd be nice. If I get paid, I'll go to that new restaurant in town. If I'm not too tired, I'll go to the gym. Okay, if I'm not too tired after work, I'll go to the gym. Um, if my family come to visit, um, I'll cook them a big lunch. If my family come to visit, I'll cook them a big lunch. If I finish my work on time, um, you can meet me and we can go and walk by the river. If the kids get bored, hmm, if the kids get bored, we'll take them to the park or we'll take them to the library, maybe. I don't know. It depends what your kids like. What do you think we could put in here? Put your, into the comments your answers. Try to use some of these to make first conditional sentences. Let's have a look. Um, do remember the replay of this lesson will be available um, as soon as you've finished on YouTube and Facebook. Um, but let's have a look. Um, so then saying, if I'm not tired, I'll go to the cinema. Lovely. Brilliant. Juliana is saying, I will take them to the mall. I guess if the kids get bored, I'll take them to the mall. Or if my family comes to visit, I'll take them to the mall. It depends. Yeah. Eric saying, if I finish work on time, I'll go to the cinema. Brilliant. Um, Samiha is saying, I'll buy the dress. I guess if I get paid, I'll buy the dress I saw last weekend. Brilliant. Uh, Tuni saying something very similar. If I get paid, I'll buy some new clothes. Brilliant. Uh, Majid, if I get paid, I'll eat food, maybe. If I finish work on time, I'll eat food. Yes. Um, if the kids get bored, we will play some games. Maybe says Harman Beer. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Lynn, if I get paid, I'll buy lots of books to read. Brilliant. That's a lovely answer. Um, if I'm not too tired, I'll meet you tomorrow, says Ian Young. Brilliant. Mary Poppins, if I finish work on time, I can go for a walk. Um, once you finish looking after the children. <laughs> if I get paid, I'll go for dinner with my siblings. Yeah, brilliant, Ragda. Um, if I'm not too tired, I'll study more, says Fifi. If I get paid, I'll buy a new flat, says Wint. Brilliant. Um, if my family come to visit, I'll prepare a barbecue, says Base to Ace. Yeah, brilliant. Um, Rocio says, if I'm not too tired, I'll do some exercise. Great. Um, Ziad, if I'm not tired, I'll go to watch a match of Liverpool. Yeah, okay, like Liverpool, brilliant. Um, if my family come to visit, I'll go shopping with them, says Sassy Cam. Um, brilliant examples here. Fanny saying, if I'm not too tired, I'll cook the traditional meal for my family. Brilliant. Keep them coming in. 
as well saying if i'm not too tired i'll go swimming brilliant um nancy saying we'll take them to the park so maybe if the kids get bored we'll take them to the park or if my family come to visit we'll take them to the park fits for either of those doesn't it um and saying if i finish work on time i'll buy something special yeah brilliant um if i'm not too tired i'll continue to watch you yes there's loads of great things to watch for bbc learning english um let's have a look what else but i'm saying if i get paid lots of money i'll help poor people okay yes yeah very good Patty. if my family come to visit i'll make a surprise for them okay that sounds interesting if i finish work on time i'll use facebook says abdullah okay brilliant um keep coming in your comments it's brilliant um if i finish work on time i'll watch bbc live quiz tomorrow <laughs> I'm sure it's tomorrow. It's Friday, isn't it? Um, if I finish work on time, my boss will be happy. Yeah, we could say that one. Great one, Hanas. Yes. Um, if the kids get bored, we'll go to the mosque, says Wahid. Okay, brilliant. Um, if I finish work on time, I'll hang out with my friends, says Sue. Okay, we're getting lots of really good answers here. Okay, and you've got exactly what you need to say so for example mark is saying here if i finish work on time and um, we can see finish here is in the present tense um after if we've got an if here um i will go out early or i'll go home early is using the will future so we have the for the first conditional we use the present tense here with if so if i finish work and we can use the will future or we could use another modal verb or we could use an imperative I'll go home early. We use any other clause. Um, another example here from Anwar. If I finish work on time, I'll get home soon to make dinner. Yes. Okay. Again. And we use these for things that we think are realistic, things that we think could happen. So our, our actual plans. This isn't necessarily about our dreams. We use different structures for things like that. We might use the second condition. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you so much for all your comments. Um, do remember to keep following BBC Learning English. Keep looking out for all the live lessons.